Nintendo showed off their first proper look at Breath of the Wild 2 at E3 2021. Well, today I'm going to go through that trailer with a fine tooth comb, plus round up some of these speculations in the community since the trailer was shown off. Well, if you're new around here and found this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Zelda content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, before we get stuck into the analysis, let's check out the trailer itself. Well, that trailer was the headline act of E3 2021 from Nintendo. It showed off a little more detail, and it was in contrast to the original trailer back in 2019. The original one showed Link and Zelda traveling through a series of underground caves. So while they were traveling, it appears as if a corpse or remains of a body is being held captive or is under the control or influence of some kind of severed magic arm. Well, speculation at the moment is this is the remains of Ganondorf, however, we don't know the details for sure. Well, Link and Zelda then continue their travels on a huge elephant-like beast. They continue on foot when they appear not to be able to get over a bridge. Then Link and Zelda discover that corpse, surrounded by a swirling green power of some kind. Then there's a quick cutscene to a point where we see some evil escaping from that corpse. And then Link gets grabbed by the thing that appears to be trapping the supposed Ganondorf corpse. Well, that was our first taste of Breath of the Wild 2 back in 2019, but now we fast forward to 2021, where we got much more than that, plus a little gameplay too. So in the new trailer, we open with Link once again getting grabbed by this black and red tendril-like thing, and it looks like some kind of corruption indicated by the black and the red. Now we see the corpse, who could be Ganondorf, raising his hands into the air once again, so this time he's alive and kicking, followed by a reminder of Zelda, falling into the depths of the underground. The tone then dramatically changes as we see Link falling from the sky. You know, he's way up there in the sky and appears to be free falling down to Hyrule below. Link is then seen riding his glider safely down to the ground. So the first thing to notice here that the Link falling from the sky appears to have a corrupted right arm, whereas the Link in the original trailer appears to be as per the original Breath of the Wild, because they have a similar design. So I wonder in Breath of the Wild 2 if there could be two Links in the game, and perhaps similar to Ocarina of Time, where we play as young and adult Link. But let me know in the comments what do you think is behind the design differences between Link. I would love to hear what you think. Well, next up we see Link running through Hyrule, long hair flowing. Again, he's got that corrupted arm. In the distance we can see floating islands in the sky. And this appears to be one of the main themes for Breath of the Wild 2, with Hyrule dramatically changed from the first game, and parts of Hyrule have floated up into the air. Now, given we see Link skydiving down from above, you know, very, very similar to Skyward Sword, I'm sure we're not going to be underground the whole time, as perhaps suggested by the first trailer. But we're also going to be travelling high up in the Hyrule skies on some floating islands. As I said before, this is very similar to Skyward Sword, and it may be one of the reasons that Skyward Sword 
was released again in 2021 for Nintendo Switch. Perhaps the creators want us to understand the origins of the Zelda franchise before we dive into the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Well, moving on, we see some bokoblins on the top of a stone talus rising up from the ground. Then there's a quick shot of what appears to be Link's arm, glowing and covered in light. So there is speculation in the community that rather than the Sheikah Slate, this time we're going to be using Link's arm, and perhaps it's going to have different abilities and attachments. So this harks back to some old Legend of Zelda concept art, where we see an armless Link. So it certainly makes sense to continue having some kind of multi-tool that we use, and the Sheikah Slate definitely made sense in the Wii U days, but it's going to be interesting to see how Nintendo chooses to evolve this theme. Yeah, we don't know exactly what's happened to Link's arm, but we do know that something is definitely going on here. Next up in the trailer, we see Link wielding some new powers. So a spiky ball is falling down a hill towards him, and it looks like Link can either turn back time or use some kind of kinetic power to push the spiky ball back up the hill. You know, a rewind time mechanic would be very, very cool, and that opens up a lot of possibilities for puzzles in the game. So it's not clear to us yet whether full-blown dungeons are going to return to the sequel to Breath of the Wild just yet, but this was a huge part of audience feedback since the original Breath of the Wild came out in 2017. Now, fans want to see the return of larger dungeons rather than these smaller shrines. We also see Link wielding what looks to be a flamethrower, but here's the confusing thing. This is on his other arm when comparing it to his corrupted arm. So Link then does a neat little backflip to evade an enemy's fighting, and Link also then appears to travel through concrete via a water-like ability. Now it's really unclear as to what is happening here, but it looks like Link is once again reversing time as the water droplet goes up rather than down, and then Link travels through solid stone, arriving high above Hyrule in the clouds. Yeah, it's all really, really mysterious, but hopefully we're going to find out a lot more about this soon. And let me know down in the comments what you think this is. You know, how is Link travelling through this concrete, and is Link able to reverse time? So in the final scene, in parallel to the original trailer, we see Hyrule Castle shaking and rumbling against the backdrop of dramatic music, then it raises itself into the sky, and there clearly is an event that leads to this, you know, whether it's the discovery of the Ganondorf-like corpse underground, or the corruption escaping and affecting Hyrule in some way, well, we just don't know. And the latest trailer closes with the castle in the sky, with Zelda's lullaby playing the background against a beautiful sunset over Hyrule, and it fades to black with the number 2022 left on screen. Well, unfortunately, that 2022 would later be pushed back to spring 2023, but that still gives us plenty of time to get really, really excited about the Breath of the Wild 2. Well, let me know down in the comments what you thought of the E3 2021 trailer, and let me know your favourite theories about Breath of the Wild 2. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching, and for more Legend of Zelda content like this, hit that subscribe button down below, and subscribe to Triforce Times. If you enjoyed this content or found it useful, liking and sharing it would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other content on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.